Welcome, 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 Leos. This is the Gemini season. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Let's look and see. So I see you, um, Leos, are going to be overcoming some sort of a situation um, to do with a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion woman. So I see these two women are prominent in the first two weeks. And it's as if these two women are in the reverse Whatever that was happening and transpiring, I see that they're recognizing what a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion woman have done together with a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn or what this person could have done to this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. So it could be a supervisor and um, a, team a, a, a team leader, a supervisor and a co-worker, a supervisor and a, co um, a colleague. Um, it could be your boss. Um and uh, a, a, a colleague that, have, you know, there is some sort of a ruffling. But I see in the fourth week, um, some of you are going to be regaining um, money or regaining the position of these two people. And that is going to be giving you some sort of a, um, um, extra uh, push and salary increase that sort of a situation. A bank financial institution could be recognizing of what these two people have done. And I see a whole lot of you are going to be um, powerfully standing your ground and regaining balance. So let's say that you work in the accounts department or some sort of a financial institution. They're going to be recognizing that an older person who could have been a manager and a supervisor and a co-worker has created a whole lot of uh, this honorable situation where money could be stolen and money was missing. And um, a whole lot of you are going to be overcoming this because they're going to be showing up. You, Leos, could be showing up these two people, that these two people were the one who have done it and created this situation. So business-wise, it is going to be good. And I see a lot of you in the end of this um, Gemini season, um, you are going to be overcoming whatever that was transpiring. So it's as if some of you, Leos, uh, um, I've gotten caught up between these two people. I see that you're dealing with a Capricorn young lady between the ages of 35 and 50. So a lot of you be aware of this. Whoever this Capricorn young lady is and whatever is happening and transpiring, I see that um, you Leos are going to be having to co or um, co connect with this Capricorn young lady. Now, this Capricorn young lady could have uh, got money on the false pretend or could have accessed um, uh, some sort of a data on the false pretend. And I see that you, um, Leos, are going to be uh, getting out of some sort of a situation and is uh, letting this young lady, because whoever this young lady is, uh, they are between the age of 35 and 50. And uh, um, this person is connected within some sort of a corporation or institution that some of you are working with or you could have done business with this person. Now, whatever is going on and whatever is transpiring, I see um, you are definitely going to be overcoming um, this person. And whoever this manager or supervisor is, is the same thing that you're going to be overcoming this manager and supervisor also because you're coming out being victorious over a problem that a young um, Capricorn person have created and a chaos a young Capricorn person had created for you. So, um, you know, it, it is a situation where the Leo's, um, you know, get ready because um, you are moving away from these people. You're getting out of this issue. Some of you could be um, overcoming this situation, but some of you are going to be victoriously just walking away um, from the situation because you recognize there is no win-win to this situation. Okay, so I see you. Um, you're definitely going to be walking away, but whatever it is. It is so it says you end up being victorious and successful, okay? Because the energy of the chariot is there where you're leaving the situation behind. So some of you are just going to be um, 
you know, standing up against these people, showing up for yourself uh, and leaving the situation behind and overcoming uh, um, a problem that was transpired and um, letting a bank or financial institution know that, hey, it is this young um, um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person that has created this situation. I have nothing to do with it. This is the person that went and accessed whatever data and information and gave it to me. And that's how a lot of you, Leo, is going to be successfully coming out of some sort of a problem that you, Leos, were in. All right. Okay. So let's look at the first week. The first week, a lot of you are dealing with a, uh, the first week is the 21st until the 27th. And a lot of you, Leos, are dealing with a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion woman. Now, whoever this Pisces Cancer or Scorpion woman is, I see this person, um, it's coming up as a, either not speaking the truth, okay, and was coaxing against you, Leos, together with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn woman. Now, this what this young woman is between the ages of thirty-five and fifty, and this older woman is between the energy of uh, um fifty years and older. So you're looking at. Uh, um, these two older people, they are, they are, um, manager and team leaders, our managers and, uh, um, floor and co-workers or managers and, uh, employee. And you could be the one that was diffusing some sort of a situation between these two people, or you got connected, um, with these two people. So, you know, maybe you were one of them solicitator. And that sort of a thing, you know, kind of um, hushing and, you know, uh, you know, watering down some sort of a huge explosion between these two people. Now, whatever is happening and transpiring, I see that you will be able to resolve this situation. So this is going to be very good. So whoever is dealing with a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion person, 50 years and older this woman is, you're going to be overcoming this woman because you're going to be able to, re to release and halt out the fire that was going on around this lady and is going to be able to resolve some sort of an issue and situation that this person has created for you, all right? We're moving on to the heart of hurt. This energy is the princess of pentacles and is the heart of her. Now, this person, whoever this person is, but it's a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person, they're going to be recognizing what this person have done. So it could be against your business. It could be... A, at the work floor where they're going to be recognizing the conclusion because if you notice this woman is looking at this five the older pisces cancer scorpion person and you can see that they have created some sort of an unconventional play and it did not work out it's as if these two people had collaborated together to bring some of you down and you're recognizing and, you know, they're in the reverse and they're looking at each other as, uh, are they aware that we have done it? I guess so. Um, that sort of a situation. So whether this person is, is a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person. And for some of you, it is a Capricorn. For some of you, it is a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. But whether this person is and collaborated with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion person, an older person in order to pull the rug underneath your foot. But here it is that you, Leos, are saying, uh-uh, it's not happening because I am going to be, you know, going to management to tell management what exactly had transpired. So as we look at the third week where you're, you regain um, a strong stability with your um, financial status, and, and that week is the week of the 4th of June until the 10th of June, you, Leos, are going to be regaining um, some sort of a stability at the workplace or um, sun in Capricorn, sun in Capricorn. So um, you are going to be overcoming this. And I told you guys that it was a Capricorn. You're going to be overcoming a young Capricorn, whoever this young Capricorn is. So um, this young Capricorn, um, you're going to be overcoming this person. So it could be a, a situation where you're now recognizing that, Whoever this young Capricorn is, 
you are you you are financial um 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 stable and stronger in the sense that uh, um you are you know you're you're getting rid of these two people and you know it it looks like a win now but it's um you know success success with this so a bank financial institution is going to be recognizing that money that was taken um out of a bank or financial institution or was not transferred to our account or money that was taken from an account they're going to be recognizing that uh, um this young capricorn person um information was used and you know they're going to be recognizing that you um could have access some sort of a information um from this capricorn person and took money um or did not transfer some sort of a money um to an account so they're going to be recognizing that some of you leo um, got money that a cancer and transfer the money was for a younger Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. So it's a situation where um, money that was supposed to go to a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn had not went to the account. And they're going to be looking at you Leos and recognizing that you Leos took the money or the money went to your account and they're going to be now recognizing what is happening and what is transpiring. So at the end of the day, I see you Leos are really going to be getting caught up in a bank financial institution is going to be recognizing that you Leos have created and, 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 and took money that was not yours. Okay. And I see the situation of moving forward is that you could be fired for taking this money. Okay. So when we look at the last week, we see the energy of uh, um the um the chariot and this energy of the chariot is about moving forward and it's affecting you leos but it is also affecting a cancer okay so i see um this energy of the chariot in the last week the week of the 11th to the 21st is about you leos together with a cancer and the end is going to be coming in because if you notice this is your reading leos and if you came in with this uh, um, movement, it's about movement. It's not about a victory because there is some sort of a situation that is transpiring where you and the cancer, Leos, um, in a bank financial institution or corporation is going to be recognizing um, there was some sort of a fraud or Fault played, okay. So you could, you Leos could be finding out that a cancer, because this woman could have been a cancer, and they're going to be recognizing that this cancer, um, older woman had transferred money to a old, to a younger um person uh, a company, and you have uh intercept this money, or they're going to be recognizing. Um, that these two people had intercept the money or they are going to be recognizing that you two have intercept the money. So I see whatever is transpiring, a bank financial institution is going to be recognizing something that you Leo's together with a cancer person have done. And the four of pentacles is about the sun in Capricorn and a Capricorn is going to be winning over you guys because the sun in Capricorn is the four of pentacles. The sun in Capricorn is not in the reverse. It is in the upright. So a Capricorn who has a business that some of you Leo's together with a cancer that was creating some sort of an issue, they're going to be recognizing what you Leo's together with a Capricorn have done. And they're going to be resolving the situation because um, it, it is a chaotic situation with a Capricorn business that you, Leos and Cancer, had profit from this Capricorn business or created some sort of an issue of problems. So I would say, Leo, if you are dealing with some sort of a problem with uh, um, a, a self, self, if you're self-employed and you're dealing with some sort of a problem with a self-employed person, and you're having problems with your business, they're going to be recognizing that you and a cancer decide to override another person and self-employed business. So 
uh, you know, if you want to know how this is going to be working out, you get a look under um, the, the ring to see um, if you are going to be receiving a contract. Because a lot of you, Leo, wanted some sort of a contract. A lot of you, uh, Leos and Cancers, wanted some sort of a contract. And you have gone to um, rigid, rigid um, ways in order to get this contract. So... It is going to be dependent on what is under the energy of the ring um, that you, Leos, are going to be, uh, um, uh, you, know, you know, getting the understanding whether or not you're going to be getting this contract. Because I see you, Cancer, you and a Cancer have basically gone through everything to get a new contract. But the question is, are you going to be getting the contract? The question is, uh, what is going to be transpiring under the energy of the ring to let you know whether or not you're going to be winning a situation, all right? If you are dealing with a young Capricorn, a Capricorn woman between the ages of 35 and 45, you will victoriously overcome her, okay? So again, whoever is dealing with a Capricorn woman um, uh, between the ages of 35 and uh, 50, you will overcome this person. If you're dealing with a cancer person, um, 50 years and older, or a Pisces cancer or scorpion person, 50 years and older, you will overcome this person. All right. So I do love you guys. So please, um, share, share, share these videos. Subscribe, subscribe, thumbs up. Let me know how it's going. And I gotta go, but check out your symbols to see which symbols are helping you. And namaste. Yeah.